did some you did music for Aaliyah. Have you worked with Aaliyah? What? Man, I can't sleep without you, be without you. Come on. Fuck. I don't want to be, be without you, be without you. Fuck I it. don't want to live. The next day, you know what we did? What? Can I come over? Come over. Oh, my God. Dog. Tell me what's the deal. You're not that far. Just got my bag. And I made it to the car. That's wow. Fizzle. That's fizzle. That's the fizzle. There were no boy. ladies and gentlemen oh on Oh, my it. God. You don't, make, you don't make me share the tear in here, Come boy. On. You make a play of straight how, tear. How, how, when how, I was the best, that was the most angelic and effortless piece of work I've ever done. It wasn't even work. What was it about? And you hear the, oh, oh. You know what that was? What? That's Tank. Get the fuck out of That's here. That's Tank. Tank was like, we was like, Tank, man, we need, oh your, we need your voice on this record right now. He was like, man, I don't know what to sing. They was like, just go in there and sing. She was like, just go in there and sing. You just sound so pretty when you sing. Just sing. Then he just went in the booth, and he was like, oh. I was like, that sounds great. Stack it. <laughs> <laughs> and he just, that's why I got so big. Right. Oh. They're like, I'm like, oh, my God. Oh, shit. All right, come in there, Lee. Go in there and do some more ad libs. Right. Yeah. Oh my God! What was that session like with Aaliyah? Magical, man. It almost it and you know how when you know how God works and then you know the devil always like right there. Uh huh. You know what I'm saying? I ain't gonna say no names, but somebody almost messed up the whole shit. How? Because we was all in there and Miss Harton, her mom, was in there and then one of the guys that was with us, you know what I'm saying, trying to be real business and stern. We was in there like I mean when we first met her, mm -hmm. talking for like hours. Okay. So when Aaliyah comes in, she nicknames everybody. She don't call nobody. She don't call me Jazzy. She's not gonna call you Ed Lover. Right. She gonna call. She's got a name for everybody. Right. And she called me Fuzzy. Okay. I said, "Why you call me Fuzzy?" She said, "Cause when I when every time I see you, I just like I get I get fuzzy. Mm. It's just like warm and fuzzy." I was like, right. Ah. <laughs> ah. Like I'm like, man, this girl, and she was like coming, like it was magical because she was just coming from TRL, right? So she had on the like little white, uh -huh. the all white with the with the with the uh, uh, with the Nike little Tommy on. Hill figure, yeah, joint. just she looking liked just the just stupid cute, like you know, you just like <laughs> trying not to look straight at her, like you know, they say don't don't look straight at Prince, like, <laughs> but she's sitting right there, right? You know what I'm saying? Her mom was right here, and so one of my boys came in, one of the guys that worked with us, we talking for hours, bro. So he, like, so he looked at his watch and says, hey, listen, um, well, we're going to have to get to work. You know what I'm saying? We got to get to work. Interrupted her mom while she was talking. Mm. Her mom got up and walked out the room. Oh, wow. Then Aaliyah's phone rang. And she then Aaliyah got up and walked out the room, too. Two hours later, neither one of them was there. Oh, shit. I almost fucked up the whole damn session. Oh, wow. So, I had to call Joe Mo, Joe Mo Hankerson. Right. You know, they were at, they went to sit down and eat at Benny Hanna's or something. Uh -huh. I literally had to go over to Benny Hanna's, sit down with Joe Mo, and we had to talk to the moms, apologize. Man, you need to get on the phone and apologize to her mama. Apologize and da 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 Because she had never even heard our music. She didn't care about it. She Leah was all upset because she was like, oh, mom, she didn't mean it. He didn't mean it. Let's work. But whatever she said made everybody like, they, we can't go to the studio until mama says it's okay. Right. And she she pushed it on through, and then that's what happened. The magic, wow, that magic, that magic happened. Right, and there. it's crazy because my boy Teddy Bishop did. I miss you. Mm -hmm. But it's been too long since I'm lost without you. Right. That was Genuine's record. Come on, dude. That was Genuine's record. But Elgin, you know Genuine, he, he <laughs> Elgin. Yeah, he just Elgin Genuine no, 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 on the no, podcast. Because no. El, Elgin to come in and just disrupt the whole vibe and be like, man, I don't like this song. So he he didn't put the song on the album. Mm. So Ali was like, she begged us to sing that song. She's like, oh, can I please sing that song? Can I please sing that song? They was like, you know, it, you know, genuine was so big then. We was like, we were, okay, we're gonna save it for another album. Uh huh. And you know, something said just you know, Teddy. I, Teddy was like, what you think? I was like, I think she should do it, bro. And she sang it. Wow. Yep. Wow, yeah. that's that's huge. That's a big record for it too. Oh, oh my God, God, man! You know because a lot of people are under the impression, really, that Timberland and Missy. Well, the did record that, that record that record actually immortalized her. Everybody had those records that immortalize you, like like uh, like I ain't mad at you. Immortalized Tupac. Yeah, for sure. Because it's like right after 
he passed, you see him in heaven. Right. I'm like, what the hell? <laughs> That's why everybody thought it was a, a, a hoax, right? Yeah. Yeah, everybody thought it was a hoax. It wasn't. I know it, but it was just, yeah. you know. Yeah, that's sometimes, crazy. So I, sometimes I think, think, you know, God leaves us certain things to let us know that, you know, he's here. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? He's always there. Yeah, absolutely. 70, 70 million records sold from you. Mm, Some big like accomplishments for, for, for a little dude from Memphis, Tennessee. Hey, bro. man. Hey, man. It's a big accomplishment for anybody, man. It's a blessing. You know, first and foremost, I mean, I'm just, I'm just happy to be amongst the, you know, the greats of, uh, you know, people who I've always loved and, and admired. When did you meet Sierra? Who introduced you to Sierra? Uh, a young man uh, named T.A. T.A., uh, he introduced me to Sierra. Uh, she was in a group called, um, what was the name of the group? Hearsay. Okay. And one of the, the one of the girls in the group, her, her, da- her daddy thought she was the Beyonce of the group. Okay. But not CC. She thought she thought she was the, the Beyonce of the group. Mm-hmm. So basically, they they thinking that you know trying to big her up like she the one. Mm-hmm. So um, Ta was like, no, watch watch that girl, watch her, watch CC. I was like, yeah. When they all perform, I was like, yeah, that's right. So he singled her out, had to come back to the studio to Dark up there with uh, okay. Dallas Austin Studio. Yeah, big shout out to Dallas Austin. Yeah, big shout out to Dallas, man, uh, for letting us work up in there. You know, because if not, I wouldn't have put that CC album together like that. So just let me come in the studio and just really just do my. So you kind of singled her out out of the group. The group was trying to sign with you. Were they that trying that to was get... his. That was his motive when he brought it because he wanted me to see. He wanted to be sure that that's what she was. You okay. know what I'm saying that she was a superstar and uh, brought it to me and Nooney. And then we, you know, we went up in, um, in in a little side in the cubby hole. We was like in the in the <laughs> in the broom closet, uh, uh, room. But went in there, man, and so much magic. Right. So much magic, dog. Crazy. You knew it. You knew it from day one. Day one. Before she cut a record. What What was it about her? Is it just it's that just, thing? It's just that it. Yeah, that it. That thing. it shit. And then you know it's crazy because I just let her kick it with me for like three days, and she, we didn't sing a song, we didn't do nothing. All she did was when the music came on, she danced. And I was like, you know, you'd be like a grandmama or, or somebody uh, uh, trying to cover up with a shawl because she like 16, 17 years old, like dropping it like it's hot. And, right. You know, showing ass crack. I'm like, oh, Lord, Jesus. <laughs> you know, all these grown ass niggas right there. Like, and every nigga like, who is that? I was like, dog, don't make me pull a pistol on you, bro. <laughs> it was a baby, man. She's a baby. Right. And she had baby fat, too. She was thick. <laughs> that year was thick, boy. She had to lose weight, you know what I'm saying, for the right. goodies video. Uh-huh. I think she lost like 15 pounds before that video. Oh, wow. Yeah, so imagine how thick she was. Yeah. Man. And you just saw it. What was the inspiration from the songs? Where did it come from? Um, Just the movement, man, how she was. How she was. I mean, the little John, the whole little John thing was just, uh, uh, you know, a brother thing. You know what I mean? That was my brother. You know what I'm saying? So well, when did we, you meet Little John? I met Little John way back, man. Whew. Man. Probably about 97, 90, something like that. Well, who introduced you to Little John? It was just a mutual respect. I think Little John, man, it's hard to tell. I can't remember. Uh-huh. But we had no, you know, we did a big record together too, that uh Shouty Frigga song. Y'all did freak a little sound. You and Lil John did that right? That's me singing that hook. Get the fuck out of here. That was a Lil John and the East Side Boys single. Right. DJ Toomp produced the record. And that's you singing the hook. And that's me singing the hook. Wow. Freak a little sound for the loud loud. <laughs> On the dance floor. Freak a little sound for your partner. On the down low. Wow. Yes, there you go. <laughs> I that's an that. ATL classic. That's an ATL classic. Shawty, like a shawty. That's a fucking classic, period. Come on, dog. Yeah, I didn't know that, man.